everybody and welcome to our February Sew and Tell. I'm super excited to be here with you. We have a great variety of projects from all of our different stores and just some fun, um, some Easter projects. We have some St. Patrick's Day, some spring. I know it seems like it's still kind of wintry, but spring will be here before we know it. So I'm excited to show it all to you. Uh, I'm Lynn, I'm the manager of our Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum Store in Littleton. And we're gonna start with our um, freestanding cross. This is an OESD, actually it's a scissor tail stitches project. And it is a freestanding Easter cross. Rebecca in our Aurora store made this for us. It's got a really pretty um, three dimensional uh, daffodil on it. It's got the wooden cross. It's just a beautiful design um, just in time for Easter, which is, I can't remember, but I know it's sometime early in April. So we still have some time to get ready for that. So this is the Scissor Tail Stitches Freestanding Cross. This is one of the design discs that we have in the store. So some of the designs are going to be either a part of spree or online only and some of them we're going to have available in the store and this is one of the designs that we have in the store physically the nice thing is now um, oesd has gone to a usb stick so rather than having a cd it comes with a usb stick you can just plug it into your machine the designs are there and you're ready to go so this is freestanding easter cross and then Megan in our Colorado Spring store made us the um, Scissor Tail Stitches mailbox. This was one of the freestanding projects from last month. She made um, the mailbox. It's got some um, sparkle vinyl on it. It's just really cute. It's got the little flag that you can put up. And then we have a little envelope. This says Chloe, so I'm guessing Maybe Chloe made that, but it has the little um, letter that goes in the mailbox. So this is a scissor tail stitches project from um, January. So you can find that. Uh, that is available in the stores as well. So that one is in the stores. And then this is a St. Patrick's collection. Um, this is a shamrock. I put it on a diaper, so it will be a burp cloth for my uh, sweet little Luna. I used um, some glitter um, vinyl on here. It's the uh, Kimberbell version. I would probably have pre preferred to use the OESD version, but this was what we had at the store. I do have to tell you, if you are using this glitter fabric from Kimberbell, when you get it, it comes with a clear plastic sheet over top of it to protect it. And you do wanna make sure that you take that off before you do the embroidery on it. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. My brain was not processing properly. I stitched the whole shamrock down with that plastic on top of it and it was a really bad, bad, bad project. So make sure you do that. But having that little bit of sparkle in there is very fun. And then Amber at our Aurora store made this fun wall hanging. She used the same shamrock. Um, there's the leprechaun and then the rainbow with the lucky. And she just made a fun pot of gold um, project with using the designs. There's one more design on this collection. I think there's four of them. And this is one of the online collections. So this is not one you'll find in the store. You'll either have to order it online or you can get it from, um, if you have Spree, if you are ordering designs online, what you're gonna wanna do is go to our website. On our website, there's, um, a tab that says shop online, you'll click on that, you'll see embroidery, you'll click on embroidery and that will take you to a link that will take you directly to the OESD website, you can order things there. So that's super easy, if we don't have it in the store then you can order it online. 
So moving right along, we have um, another design that's available in the store. It is Ann Lauer and it's Alluring Butterflies. So um, Ann Lauer does beautiful, um, very intricate, very beautiful design. She did um, some cats. She did the um, dogs. She's done peacocks. She did fish. She's done really some great designs. So Emily made us a wallet using the butterfly on the wallet. It's a beautiful way to um, showcase those designs. She did it on some blue grunge. Um, these two designs are on there. And then Terry did something really fun and different. She embroidered the design on netting. And then she cut it out around, leaving a little bit of the netting around the design. And then she got it wet and she attached it to a bar of soap. So she has a beautiful decorative bar of soap with that design done on netting. So what a creative way and different way to use that design. I wouldn't have thought of that, but Terry really comes up with some great ideas. So this is an OESD design. It is available in the store. There's several butterflies. They're all beautiful. The colors are just amazing. And this is a physical copy, so we do have that available in the stores for you if you want to do the butterflies. And then another one of the physical copies is a Jim Shore collection. We always love the Jim Shore collections. This one is called Farm Animals. There's a really cute assortment of um, animals on there. Amber in Aurora made an egg-shaped placemat and embroidered the hen on it. So we have an Easter um, placemat with um, the hen and then this is a separate collection it's the bunny butt utensil holder so it's a piece of felt you stitch the back piece and then you stitch a pocket that just stitches right on and it holds your utensils so for easter or for spring you would have just a fun collection of the utensil holder and then the farm animals on the egg-shaped placemat and she did some cute decorative stitches uh, there's a bunny with an egg that she used to quilt the project so that's a great idea and then I did something completely different with it I stitched out the pig and the hen and then using some of the fabrics that we have in Littleton I made a nine patch in the center and a checkerboard at the um, at either end. So just kind of a fun springtime table runner using those Jim Shore designs. They're very beautiful designs. There's a lot of fun detail with it. And again, that is an OESD collection that's available in the stores. So it's in the store. It's on a USB stick. So it's nice and easy for you to use. And you can use those to make some great springtime projects. All right, so moving right along, um, this is a plug. Um, Megan is going to be conducting a uh, Genomi CM17 test drive event. Um, it is taking place in March. It's a one day event. We're gonna have it on the 17th of March or the 18th of March. It will take place at our event center. Um, and what we'll have you do is you'll fill out an application. Um, you'll, we'll submit the applications to Megan. She's going to go through. She will select people to attend the event. Uh, you are going to make, um, there's a couple projects, I think, but this is a fun zipper bag that uses their, um, floating stitches and then some free motion quilting using their new um, Accu stitch, their uh, free motion, um, regulated free motion quilting. So just a fun project that Megan is going to be doing. So make sure and look for the advertisement and the application that you can get registered for this super fun event. And what a great way to try out the amazing CM17 available from Janome. So that is happening. 
And then another plug um, in the Aurora store, Nancy will be having a Kimberbell event. It's called One, Spri um, One Sweet Spring. It's a two-day event. It will take place on March 31st and April 1st, and you'll make this beautiful springtime wall hanging. Um, I'm sure it will have a kit available or a kit, a kit provided. You'll make the carrots, you'll make freestanding, um, or actually it looks like textured um, fabric on the baskets. The bunnies are made out of minky. So just a fun variety of techniques that you'll be doing with this and then quilting also. So this is one sweet spring. It's a two day event that will be happening in the Aurora store. So you'll wanna make sure and sign up for that. I'm sure the space will be limited for it. So that's upcoming as well. Um, in the Aurora store, they have a class now that we all have to have um, bags when we go shopping. Um, they're having a class and they're teaching this simple sack, which is a great bag for grocery shopping, just to fold up and have in your purse. And Donna made this for us. This is another one of the online designs and it's this beautiful butterfly. One side of it is the wing and the other side, your wings are already, your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. So what a fun design. And it's really cute on this bag that Donna made and there will be a class. There's also a pocket on the back. And I think somehow this all folds up so you can tuck it in your purse and have it available because how many times have you gone in the store and don't have a bag? So this is a perfect project for that. So thank you, Donna, for this project. And then uh, Kimberly in the Colorado Springs store made us this beautiful bag. This is a Kimberbell tote blank. Um, so those are great because they come flat, you do your embroidery, and then you stitch the sides up. She lined it with a really cute Kimberbell fabric on the inside. One side has this beautiful love design stitched out. And I'm gonna guess that she did the larger size. I did this last month in the smaller size. And then I think she's done it now in the bigger size. And then on the back side of the bag, she used some of the hand stitched hearts, which are also very pretty because they look like they've been hand done and yet they're all done on the embroidery machine. So thank you, Kimberly, for our love bag. And then we have um, another one of the um, online designs. Lori made it this little purse for us. She's uh, really into bowl making. So what she did is she used macrame cord from the dollar store and she created this flat circle and put the handle on it. She made one for each side and then did the embroidery on it and then added the um, gusset in the middle and a little drawstring top and made this fun cute purse using um, two different designs. This side is um, a design that's part of their springtime uh, garden flag. And then the other side is a different collection. Um, I think it might be called Hello Spring. It's an online collection as well. The design is here, um, but she decided that that was just not enough. So she added some extra flowers along the bottom and just really a cute, um, creative, fun bag that she made. There's a little zipper pocket on the inside, a little drawstring at the top. So she's got a fun little purse for spring using two of our online designs and a very creative way to make, um, use the rope. And then I use the same um, design disc and these are the three designs on there, stitched them out. Um, put the um, 
kind of the trim down the middle and just made a fun tote bag for spring. I just loved the colors. I really liked how this turned out. Of all of my projects, I think when I was done, this one was my favorite just because I love the colors. And these were fabrics that we had in the Littleton store. So just a fun way to do something different since spring is gonna be here before we know it. And then last but not least is um, the last of our physical copies. This one is called Faith by Shannon Roberts. Shannon Roberts is the designer that does the blackboard kind of looking designs. Her stuff is amazing. So Lori and Terry both used this design disc. Terry did something very different. She took one of the designs, Let Your Light Shine, she reduced it in her software and then she stitched it on netting and then she sewed the netting into a circle and slid it over top of a flameless candle and you can see the little bit of light shining through the netting it's just a super fun design and a great way to use that design a different way to use the design terry's so great at doing that and then uh, Lori used four of the designs and she needed a shopping tote. So she has a shopping tote. Um, she used one design on each side of the bag. So she's got four different designs on here. She has a divider in the center of her tote. She brought um, empty milk gallon um, bottles to the store just to make sure everything would fit. So she has a tote that you can use this way or that you can use this way, depending on how much you have in the tote. It's got some extra pockets and just all kinds of fun things. Um, and she did free motion quilting. It was the first time she'd ever done it. So this was a great project that Lori made for us using, again, um, the Scissor Tail Stitches Faith by Shannon Roberts. So... Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm excited that we had all these fun projects for you. Be sure and stop by any of our four stores. Uh, we have one in the Springs, our store in Aurora, our store in Littleton, and our store in Arvada. We would love to see you. We'd love to show off some of our samples. I know that Rosemary's been working diligently but wasn't able to get stuff to me, so they will also have samples in the um, Arvada store of some of these designs. So stop by and see us and be sure and stay tuned because Tracy is going to have some great stuff for you for uh, February all in the color green. So thanks and we'll see you next month.